All right, here we are at Gobble Getter Turkey Calls. I'm gonna show you how to make a scratch box. This one here's got some engraving on it. We're gonna go through the process of cutting out the interior here and show you the steps that it needs to make a good scratch box. Start by making my lines on the upper side and the bottom side, like that there. And then I'll make lines here for my cutout. So what we got is a, a rectangle here and we'll uh, Fostner bit all this interior out. I'll be using a three quarter inch Fostner bit. All right, that's what it's gonna look like on the interior. Now we'll go over to the belt sander here, and what I'm gonna do is actually cut a little profile here. That's for the sound chamber to rele release the sound. Now you can see there's a little offset here. And I'll put a little design on here. I'll strike a line across that way I know where to go to. 
measure the center of this. From the center, I'll come over an inch and a half. Either side, inch and a half mark from here to here. And that's gonna be my little profile on my soundboard. Now, you can see that it's sort of a wave to it. That's my profile. Next step is I'll just do a little sand in here and clean this edge up and get ready for my soundboard. Sometimes you gotta file this down get it to the right height on both sides. If you set it on the table, you can almost see the profile the way it's supposed to look here. Make sure it's even. I'm gonna sand this down just a little bit on the top side. You want these walls about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths thick, bottom and top. Make sure you got a flat surface here. Everything's nice and smooth. That way when you glue up your soundboard, it stays nice and flat. I'll probably use maybe a maple soundboard on this one here. So, uh, I'll be back here after I cut the soundboard.